Hey everyone, uh, Glenn Trayer, Mount Man Journals, Trayer Wilderness. Um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, um, and I haven't looked into this at all, um, to see if there's any other videos out on YouTube or anything else on how to do this, and I'm sure there is. I'm sure I'm not the first one that's come up with this. Um, take my earplugs out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is building a, I guess kind of like a machete, um, just a, more so like a chopping, chopping tool out of a uh, chainsaw blade, or the bar, sorry, um, out of the bar. And um, just show you a little something there, you know, utilizing things you have instead of discarding them you know come instead of going out and paying you know a hundred two hundred dollars for one of these tools um, why not make it yourself uh, you know it's you can go to uh, a lot of loggers or um, you, know, you can find them out in the woods sometimes um, Different people you might know that have chainsaws, you know, pinched a blade or something, you know, and they getting rid of it. Um, ask them for it. You can make some really nice knives out of them and uh, all kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here um, what what I'm doing. Um, I'll take you over here. Excuse me. Sorry about the mess. This it's driving me nuts, but I just haven't had time to clean it up. So, all right. So what I've done is we've got our blade here. Um, you can see the old, where it went into the saw itself um, back there. Um, your oil, oil ports and stuff. Um, but anyways, I've taken I've cleaned this up with the grinder. You can see the marks in it where I've cleaned it up. Um, I didn't use a lap wheel on it, so a lap wheel would have got that a little more smoother. Um, but anyways, um, if you can see this right here, you can see the line, a line going right there. Hopefully you can see it okay. And what that is, is um, that is where, how deep the, the um, on the teeth of the saw, where that runs in the track here. Right in, right in this slot where the the blade or the the chain runs in that track. Um, that's how deep that goes. So I can't really utilize that unless I'm gonna figure out something to use that for um, with my chopping tool. Um, and I haven't really thought about it. That just gave me an idea. So I I don't know. I gotta you know if you were to come up with something with that fine if not whatever um, anyways so what I did was to get my depth because it's pretty a, th a pretty thin um, thing it's maybe like a sixteenth um, gap in there what I've done is I took a piece of wire uh, let's see here see if you can see that um, piece of wire that's just welding wire and uh, what I did was I stuck it I stuck it in that that slot and I bend it up and you can see that angle that's the depth of that piece or, the, or that track so what I did was is I took my um, square and I put it along the edge and I put my marker on the edge here and I just run it run the whole thing right right along there and I'll show you that here in a second let me get this switched around here I'll be right back with you okay now I'll show you how I did this like I said I just took my square I got my depth off of that wire you can see I just uh, hopefully you can see I just took that and you know got my depth sticking this on here and I'm just running my whole thing right along the edge of that 
and uh, that gave me my you can see hopefully um, that gave me my depth so what we're left with is whatever's in between those two lines is what we're le left with to get our um, to make our tool out of so what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of a design that I am going to make out of this and um, figure it out and then I'll get back with you and show you um, plotting it out and stuff so be right back with you alright guys so I think I figured out what I'm going to do um, with this what I did is I took my square apart you know, just unloosened that and pulled my my uh, bar out of there my measure what I'm doing is I'm going to use this round portion here to create my uh, the bevel in my the tip of my blade so what I'm doing is is I'm coming in coming around like that and you can kind of go from there um, and I'm just going to take and just now now that I got a general area that I want I can take and mark that out and you can see you know how that's going to go um, now what I'd like to do is make some kind of a a hook in here type thing um, and I don't know how that's going to go I might have to come around um, just trying to figure this out here it's actually the first time I've ever uh, made anything quite like this so I'm just going to take and use our inside there we're just kind of making that now we'll probably have to actually come straight up or hook back hook back into this so it actually has something I think what I'm thinking is like small branches and stuff hook um, and you can reach up and pull branches down with it and so on um, I'm not sure <laughs> to be honest like I said I never done one quite like this before so I'm uh, just kind of taking it as I go um, <clears throat> excuse me so I guess that's pretty much how I want that tip um, I don't know exactly how that's gonna hold up with that taking that out of the back there and you know, for your strength here uh, it's fairly thick so it should be okay um, I'm gonna make kind of like a scanty grind on this and take it down you know basically um, right from here this area you know something like that and down is where my bevels gonna be um, basically like a half inch uh, 3 8 to half inch something like that bevel on there um, so now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come down here and figure out um, where we're gonna put our um, handle how long of a tool are we gonna want you know obviously we're kind of limited by our length of our our, our bar but um, we're gonna try and um, figure out where we want this you know what would make a nice handle on it you don't want too crazy thick or especially if you've got smaller hands or if you have bigger hand, little bigger hands um, you know adjust your adjust your uh, handle according to that but um, my battery lights flashing so I'm gonna shut this down put a new battery in and I'll be right back with you <laughs> 